I recently started working with the Godot engine and I also made a devlog about my first game using it. You can check that from the link in the description below. But besides games, I'm also a big fan of Studio Ghibli. I find their movies to be really sweet and cozy. If you haven't watched any Studio Ghibli movies yet, then I strongly suggest you to. So last week I decided to combine them both and make a cozy game about a Ghibli movie called Kiki's Delivery Service. It's about a little girl who is also a witch and she has a delivery service. So the idea of the game is that you play as Kiki and you fly on your broomstick and you also deliver cakes to the people. I immediately got into making the main scene for my game. I really like the kind of parallax effects that I find in 2D games. So I wanted to make something similar like that. I added layers like mountains, trees and clouds to my scene to make it look like a Ghibli movie. After some time, I was able to make a scene that has all the layers and you can see that they are all moving at different speeds. So anything that's far from the screen, like the clouds, should move slower than the ones that are closer to the screen, like the trees. This makes the effect look more like the real world. But I was not happy enough with this, so I thought if I could add some leaves flying in the wind, turns out I could. I made a simple particle system with the leaf textures that spawns leaves at different positions on the screen and then adds linear and angular velocities to them. I also randomized their scale to make it look more natural. After that, I started with the player scene. I found this really cute sprite on the internet and decided to use it in my scene. I made a simple hovering animation for this sprite. I also gave the player the ability to move in any direction with the WSAD buttons. Then I made sure to lurk the sprite's rotation while moving up and down. This small detail made the movement feel way better. Then I wanted to show some other witches flying in the background as well. I made a scene where I used another sprite of a witch and spawned it randomly on the screen. I wrote a little script to give it some speed and based on the speed I scaled the sprite. So when the speed is more, the sprite is going to be bigger and if the speed is less, the sprite is going to be smaller. This makes it look like some witches are closer to the screen while some are farther away. After that, I made a button with a texture on it and I added three different instances of it onto the screen or three different cakes. So when you click on any of those buttons, the respective cake should fall from the player's position. The cake is just another scene with a sprite in it where I load and set a texture to the sprite based on the button clicked. Finally, I made the customers to whom you are supposed to deliver the cakes. For that, I made a scene with a small house texture on it. I created this particle system to show what cake should be delivered to them. If you deliver the correct cake, then they're going to be happy and you'll get to see this heart emoji particle system. And if it's not the correct one, then they'll be sad and you'll get to see this broken heart emoji particle system. In the end, I added a background sound effect to finish it up and the final product is here. That's all guys, it was great making this game. And I also got to learn a lot of new concepts about Godot while making this. Let me know in the comment section if you have any suggestions or what you think of this game. And you can also play or download this game from my h.io link in the description below. So yeah, see you next time.